What's going on, everybody? Today on this episode of The Collector's View, we got the Tweeterhead 1-6 scale flash statue. How fast is it going to fly off the shelves? Let's discuss and find out. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Collector's View. I am one of your hosts, Seth, and joining me as always is my hetero life mate. Now, it's funny when I get to say it. My hetero life mate, the Medina Loria. What is up? What's going on? No, what's going on, man? I'm, I'm uh, super stoked. I'm trying to rush through this like super fast. Like I'm a flash. Yes. Look at it. We're going to talk about it. the Twitter head flash. It's on the tail. We've got to go get it right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! You know, <laughs> so, like you're on crack. <laughs> super excited because the Flash is actually one of my favorite DC uh, superheroes. Little uh, little unknown tidbit about me. So super cool that we got this. Yeah, um, I'm liking it. I like the pose. Um, I like the lightning. The lightning around it. I like how the lightning is actually kicking up part of the newspaper. Dude, that's a that's a nice little effect they threw there. I like yeah. that. I like that. That's that's cool. I mean, now, it's not it's not a very motion statue, you know, like, you know, everybody wants to flash in dynamic poses, running, yeah. that kind of thing. So this is more of just your your basic museum style, you know, but it works. I like it. I like you look, that. And if you look on the newspaper, you got what yeah. is that? Captain Free, Captain, Captain Freeze. Freeze, Captain Freeze. That's pretty cool. Or Captain Cold. Was it Captain Cold? Yeah. I Freeze, think it's Captain, Captain Cold. Cold. Yeah. Captain Cold. Yeah. You're as cold as yeah. ice. Rogues on the run. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I kind of I kind of like the uh oh hey <laughs> you got a boomerang too yeah captain boomerang that's cool you got the ice covering the street so you, you got two boomerangs i uh i kind of like the um the classic version you like the classic version I'm, i like I'm, the bright i like the brighter red i like the modern look i feel like the modern look has a little more depth see now to me the modern the the modern one kind of almost looks like the flash from the 90s tv show yeah, maybe the red. Well, no, the red. The is red. Brighter. The red. The, the red was a lot darker on that on that suit in the '90s TV show. Whereas in the comic, it's a lot redder, like the classic one. I like the. Cl I like just happen to like the bright red. I think it just it really pops. It's in your face. You know, it's it's a piece that that would stand out very well in a in a collection because of the brightness of it. So my mm -hmm. only thing on that is is that I, like I feel that that on the modern one there's shading. And I don't know if it's just the way the lighting is, but it just, that's what I mean by depth. And that's the reason why I like it is like, like you see the muscular areas, all of, you see the shading here uh, around. Yeah, the, the muscles there. are more, yeah, the muscles are more defined on the modern version. I, I don't think it's that it's more defined. I just think that it looks like they painted it in some shading. Either that or they just got better lighting on that one. This one on the, on the classic, I like the, the brightness of the red, like what you're saying, but I feel like there's, they didn't color in any of the shading, you know, that, that feel like if they did that on the, on the brighter red. That could really push the red, uh, cause like look, even in the face, like here you see, it almost looks like he's got kind of, kind of some shading around yeah, the he's face. Yeah, the here. chin. The chin. The chin is more defined. Here it's 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 kind of bright. Yeah. So I don't know. I I, I would go if, if it was me. I'd go modern. I mean either. I mean either or is a really good good piece. I just prefer the brighter, the the brighter red. The yellow is really nice and bright. Mm -hmm. Um. Again, that news pit, that newspaper caught up in the light in the lightning is really a cool effect. Um. Yeah. I like it. I'm digging it. I'm so, digging it. So the the exclusive the so the exclusive edition is the uh, is the the classic version which we're looking at, and um, they're saying that will have an edition size of um, 400. That's not bad. Um, the standard edition is uh, still a TBD, so it's okay. still to be determined. But both um, pieces are going to go for 450 bucks, which isn't that bad. You kidding me? That's well. It, what scale is one six, right? It's one six scale. Yeah, four hundred and fifty. Yeah, I mean it's that's, that's about right. Yeah, it's about it's about eighteen inches tall, six and a half inches wide, and ten inches deep. All right, you got a base. You got some electricity flowing around and everything. Yeah, I guess I, I like 450 it. is not bad. I like it. Bad so, it. You know, you know what I would, you know what I wish that they would do with these tweeter head pieces. I know they're trying to keep them all like individually, but somehow if you know, you know me, and we've had this discussion before. I'm a guy that likes proximity bases. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, 
I, I like, you know, so if you have Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman, you know, and, and you get, um, you know, Cyborg, you know, you get the Justice League and all the bases just kind of, you know. Somewhat look like they kind, go together. Kind, kind of look like they go together, yeah. you know. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. But I like but that. One thing I think about the about the Twitter head pieces is that they're they're sticking to the museum style. You know, it's like they're not they're not giving you one that's like highly dynamic and then one where he's just standing straight up, you know, but yeah. then that looks kind of weird too. So even though they don't have the proximity bases, if you were to display them near each other, you know, you could you could almost pull it off. Oh yeah, because they would all be posed next to each other, kind of like standing straight up like they're yeah. waiting for they're waiting for evil to strike. Yeah. So uh, this is cool, man. I, I I like it, man. This is that's a nice little. When, when is it supposed to go up for pre order? So it's supposed to actually go up for pre order this Thursday, December second right. at nine p.m. or uh, nine a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Okay. And um, and if you purchase directly through Tweeterhead, it'll be a flat twenty five dollars shipping anywhere in the continental U.S. That's not bad. At this at this time, you know, with with the way shipping is. Any help we could get on shipping? Not, not, is I help. mean, that's that, no, that, that that's yeah. I mean, that that's great. You know, twenty five dollars mm-hmm. flat rate. I'm sure that's probably the you know the piece itself has probably got to be maybe what like uh, maybe like five six pounds. Uh, yeah, maybe less. Maybe like five pounds. I'm wondering, but it's more about the box size. You know. Yeah. That's really what it is. So if it's if it comes in a box that is like in between the size of a of a hot toys box and a and a it's definitely not gonna be a hot toys box, but like a close to premium format size box like that spider-man box i got the other day from from sideshow that was that was a pretty small box so something like that yeah. you know that would be well but that's know, also enough. a quarter scale but that's also a quarter scale this is this is six scale so right right but still that that was an unbelievably small box i've seen i've seen one fifth scale my, my kenobi box almost was bigger than me you know it was, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like half my size <laughs> And that's, Man, that's a one-fifth scale. It was a big box. So, you know, hopefully this comes in a good-sized box. You know, but $25 flat rate, that's not bad at all. I'll just get it straight at Tweeterhead then. Yeah, I'm, I'm, digging, I'm digging this piece a lot. I, I like it. If I was actually collecting these uh, Tweeterhead pieces, this would probably be an instant instant purchase for me. Again, a little unknown fact. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of the Flash. So I, I, I think it's cool. I like the classic colorway suit. I think to me that that screams more more Flash. Right, you know, flashy. I'm a, Jazz I'm a, hands. I'm a purist. <laughs> <laughs> I like things pure and wholesome. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, I like, like it. I think it's good. I think it's gonna be a good one. I, I'm pretty sure that that classic one is more than likely gonna sell out. You know, it would be kind of, you know, it would be kind of cool too, just to just to give it that little something extra. I feel mm. to maybe put it over the top is where mm. where you know, obviously you have the two different color variations, but with the exclusive one. Obviously, add something a little extra, just not being the um, the the color. Like if you had Captain F- uh, Captain Cold's um, freeze gun, like on the street, like on the street or something like that, because you've already got Captain you got Boomerang's ice. boomerangs. Yeah, but the gun the gun would be a nice touch, I think. I mean, only because you've got Captain Boomerang's uh, boomerang stuck in there. Yeah, you know, I I think I think you know having like the freeze gun, you know, somewhere would be a nice a nice touch. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm good as is. I don't think I need a, a an, an extra piece unless they find a way to put it where it, it connects. You know? I just, I just, I do love, I do love if you can go back to the show the uh, the backside portrait. Oh, does this suit make me look fat? <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what it, that's what I kind of feel like when I look at. Does this suit make hey, me look fat? That's a flashy ass right there. <laughs> so that's the world's fastest ass. <laughs> so, no, I like it. Good, good job on this one, so, Twitterhead. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter. You listen, I, I don't think there hasn't been one Twitterhead piece that I haven't, um, I haven't liked. I mean, yeah, I'm really know, on the He-Man stuff. Their Masters of the oh, Universe stuff is like, psh, I love all for, that stuff. For, for different their DC is great too, though. Days. Yeah, the DC yeah. stuff is great. And again, it's an it's an affordable, it's an afford, it's a nice piece at an, at an affordable price, right? You know, and again, they're they're doing something to help the collector with the yeah, shipping with of the, the shipping. flat rate of 25 bucks, which is, cool which is fantastic. So yeah. kudos, kudos to them on doing a good job. So Tweeterhead, if you're watching, I want one for free. So, <laughs> God, God. um, <laughs> Hey man, I t- I'm going to take my shot and you know, I'm going to see yeah, if it sticks. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So, <laughs> but, I'm uh, good. 
Guys, let us know. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below about this piece. Is this something that you would definitely pick up and add to your collection? And if you already have tweeter head pieces, uh, where does this where does this fall in lines, or where does it rank in your opinion of the tweeter line, uh, tweeter head product? So I'm I'm gonna say this is probably in my top five. Okay. Because that's how again, but I'm a flash guy, so I'm being You're biased. Flash guy. So, so you. I'm a flesh guy. I like the flesh people. Okay. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, with that being said, if you guys like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe as always. Be sure to hit that bell. So you get notified every time another episode of the collecting view gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we always offer right here at MCE. And until next time, guys, keep it marvelous. marvelous. And I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> See how fast I moved? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was pretty fast.